Hello, Jack. Charlotte. I wasn't expecting you. We have to talk. It's about my sister. You must be talking about Diane. She's very upset with you. I know. It shouldn't be this way, Charlotte. Diane said she walked in on you with a call girl. That's a lie. The call girl hadn't arrived yet. That's supposed to make it somehow better? You were cheating on my sister, Jack. I hope you don't expect me to take your side on this. If only you could understand. Understand? You betrayed her trust, you bastard! Sticks and stones, Charlotte. Have you any respect for my sister at all? Of course I do. But a prostitute, Jack? How could you? She wasn't a prostitute. She was a colleague. Yes, that's it, a colleague. Diane said when she walked in you had no pants on. And you believed her? Of course I did. She's my sister. What Diane failed to tell you, Charlotte, was that the reason I had no pants on was because I had spilled a glass of white wine on my trousers moments earlier, requiring me to take them off. You don't expect me to walk around with soiled trousers, do you? What would people think? So you're saying this whole thing was just one big misunderstanding? Nothing more. Even if that were the case, Jack, Diane is suffering with diabetes. It's all the more reason you should be there for her in her time of need. What about my time of need, Charlotte? I've been good to Diane. Supportive partner, loving husband. This isn't about you, Jack. You sound just like Diane. You were cheating on my sister with some cheap harlot. Did you ever stop to consider the consequences of your actions and how they would affect the rest of us? There you go making things about you again. I suppose selfishness runs in your family. Take that back, Jack. She wasn't a harlot, Charlotte. <gasps> I've never known you to be a violent man, Jack. I'm not a monster, Charlotte. The fact remains, Diane thinks I've committed adultery. I'm hurt that she could believe such a thing. And you, I always thought we had a special relationship, you and I. My brother and sister-in-law, yes, but I'm talking something deeper. You've always been there for me, Charlotte. And I for you. Oh, Jack. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I never meant to accuse you. Oh, don't apologize, Charlotte. Diane being absolutely riddled with diabetes is bringing out the worst in you. Marriages are never easy, Jack. I just... You could see it from Diane's point of view, that's all. <laughs> oh. My. God. Why is there a pair of women's lacy underwear in between your cushions? They're Diane's. I know my sister and she doesn't wear anything lacy. She always chooses comfort over sexiness. And she wonders why I fuck around. What was that? Uh, nothing. Listen here, Charlotte. There's a perfectly rational explanation as to why there's a pair of women's lacy unmentionables in between my couch cushions. Would you care to explain it to me then? They're mine. You really expect me to believe that you enjoy wearing women's lacy underwear? I too have a choice, Charlotte. And I choose sexiness over comfort. I hope you don't mind, but it's been a long day and I'm going to make myself more comfortable. <gasps> I don't think I'm comfortable with my sister's husband taking his pants off in front of me. Then there's the door. Good day, Charlotte. But... I said good day. <clears throat> Something seems to be bothering you. Something about this just doesn't seem right. Well, forbidden fruit is always more tempting now, isn't it? Oh, Jack. Diane never mentioned what a gentle man you are. Stop it right there. I know what you're trying to do, Charlotte. You're trying to seduce me. But I'm afraid I love your sister too much. 
And I would never do anything to compromise that. Oh, Jack. You are a good man. Yes. If only Diane could see that. Why do you love her so much? It's her laugh. Her smile. Her milky white breath. I have those too, you know. I know. It's the way she squeals like a barnyard animal after I penetrate her. <laughs> That's the sound. I want nothing more than for Diane and I to amend our differences. But she's hurt, Jack. So am I, Charlotte. Oh, Jack. Is there anything I can do? Well, there is one thing. Name it. Make love to me, Charlotte. It's the only way I'll get through. Of course I will. Then go, quickly. <laughs> Prepare yourself. Oh, and Charlotte. Yes? Pick up some condoms, will you? Are Magnums okay? Someone's been peeking. <laughs> <laughs>